Hey guys, so we're in New Orleans filming today and I just so happened to walk by a Leiden Hammer Po' Boy truck. So, if you're familiar with New Orleans, you know that we are famous for our Po' Boys and it's one of our favorite things to eat. And if you're gonna have a Po' Boy in New Orleans, it's gotta be on Leiden Hammer French bread. We are in Jackson Square. We're about to do a carriage ride around New Orleans. And we want to take you with us. Let's go. Come on out here, Jiggery. We're leaving for our tour. So we are beginning our tour today in front of historic Jackson Square. And this is the traditional heart and center of the city of New Orleans. It was on this spot is where the city was founded 304 years ago. Whoa, whoa. That was in 1718. All right, now of course when Bienville founded the city, this was not a lovely flowering park. This is all cypress swamp here. Bienville cleared away a few trees on this site, made a plain flat field here where his soldiers could do military drills. So for the first 133 years of the colony, we called this the Place de Arms, military parade ground. It wasn't until 1851, it was rededicated to Andrew Jackson, the hero of the Battle of New Orleans, and turned into a park. That big beautiful church behind Andrew Jackson is St. Louis Cathedral. That is the oldest Catholic cathedral in the continental United States. Made a cathedral in 1794. Beautiful church inside and out. It's free and open to the public. Everybody's invited to stop in there and look around. Now, before Bienville ever got here, France had already claimed everything that's drained by the Mississippi River and all of its tributaries. If you look up on our second story balconies or galleries, you'll see that they're usually wrapped up with wrought or cast iron. And as we go down Charter Street here, you'll see several examples of ornamental iron carriageway gates. And those carriageways always open up to an interior courtyard with a fountain and flowers all about. That's all totally Spanish architecture. The French seldom built with interior courtyards and didn't really use wrought iron until the Spanish had introduced it here. early days, wealthy folks around here lit their homes with wax myrtle candles made here on the Debray plantation. But uh, by the 1780s, Debray's descendants had sold the plantation to Philip de Marigny, a wealthy French nobleman who uh, moved to New Orleans, invested in sugar cane, and became most likely the wealthiest man in North America. that was a waste of space, argued incessantly with the Americans about whether or not your house should have a hallway in it. And you can always recognize the Creole cottages by that steeply pitched roof. Now, you know Nick Cage hardly ever stayed in this house. Uh, he does come to town frequently, but he likes to stay in a four-star hotel and get great service. Whoa. 